Hi, my name is Jonathan Lord, and I'm coming at you from the Student Project Studio in Azusa Pacific University. And today, I'm going to teach you how to delete automation in GarageBand. Automation is a crucial part of any modern production, allowing you to manually create changes in your volume and any other effects you may want. However, like any other aspect of music making, it can involve several stages, and you may want to change your mind later on. So let's take a look at how to do this. Automation is a great way to add professional dynamics to your mixing. However, just like anything else in music, you won't always do it right the first time, and sometimes you'll have to go back and make changes. In order to delete individual automation points in GarageBand, you can click on them so they're selected, as you can tell by the increase in size, and then hit delete. If you ever want to delete a large amount of automation points that are right next to each other, you can click and drag in the automation track to select multiple points, and then delete those. To select a lot of individual points that aren't next to each other, you can hold shift while clicking on a bunch of different points. Hitting delete will then delete those. And finally, if you drag one automation point over several other automation points, it will automatically delete all of those as well, completely overriding whatever automation you may have. You can use these techniques to delete automation for any parameter, not just volume. Again, my name is Jonathan Lord. Thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.